Divine Nutrition Products believes in supplying the consumer with the highest quality products available. Their natural isolate line of protein is comprised of whey protein isolate made from grass-fed protein. Featuring brand new flavors like vanilla peanut butter and pound cake. Divine Nutrition Products is the preferred supplement of rising IFBB Pro Figure Champion Sydney Gillen, winner of the 2016 Miami Beach Muscle Pro. Hey, this is Sydney Gillen, IFBB Figure Pro Champion. I love, love, love Divine Nutrition products, especially the pound cake as soon as I get that one, but my favorite right now is vanilla peanut butter. It's so delicious. Visit us at DivineNutritionProducts.com. All right, welcome everybody to another edition of the Florida Physique Report. My name is John Hansen, and we are broadcasting live from the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida. Today is October 26, 2017. My old friend Mel Chancy, and Mel is now living in the Florida area, and this weekend he is going to be promoting his very first show, which is a combination IFBB NPC show. It's going to be held out in Port Charlotte, Florida. It's called the IFBB NPC Mel Chansey Port Charlotte Pro and NPC Champion Harbor Classic. The NPC portion is a national qualifier and I believe that the IFBB is going to have uh, pro bikini and pro men's physique. It's going to take place at the Port Charlotte Harbor Convention Center and that's actually in Punta Gorda, Florida. I'm sorry, Punta Gorda, Florida and Tim Gardner is promoting the show with him. So if you want any information on the show, go to tgflex.florida at gmail.com and they will give you all the information you need. I know Branch Warren is going to be the guest poser. All right, uh, we've got uh, three contests to go over because they had three shows last weekend on October 22nd in the Florida area. First of all, we got the Ocala Cup, the Ocala Cup Classic, I should say, which took place October 22nd out in Ocala, Florida. I was out there. And I took some pictures and we did some interviews that you can find on floridaphysique.com. They also had the very big Diana Cadu Classic, uh, which took place in Miami, Florida, and that was both an IFBB and MPC show. They had a ton of competitors there, so we'll go over the results of that. All right, let's start off with the results from the Ocala Cup. This was Sandy Howell's second show. Uh, she did their first one last year. And she had a really good turnout, I think about 85 competitors and some really good competitors. So she did a really good job, so congratulations to Sandy. They started with the Masters Men's Bodybuilding and the over 50 and the over 40 winner were both won by Simon Morgan, who was originally from London, England. He now lives out here in Florida. And he just came back after about a 15 year layoff. I did an interview with Simon after the show. So uh, obviously a very impressive bodybuilder. He's 53 years old and he is back now and he said he's going to compete until 55. He thinks he's going to reach his peak at 55 years old. So congratulations to him. Uh, Miguel Sanchez Nieto, who came from Spain, uh, he took first place in the novice bodybuilding and he was trained by the guest poser Milton Martinez. And we did an interview with Miguel after the show as well with the help of Milton because Miguel could not speak any English. In the uh, Masters figure, the over 40 and the over 30 went to Florina Bush. So Florina Bush was the overall winner, just like with the Masters men's bodybuilding. She won both divisions, and I think she turned uh, 50 years old this week. So congratulations to her. The novice figure went to Cherise Bernard. And then moving into the bikini, the Masters bikini went to Stephanie Bulmer, and she beat out nine competitors in that class, and she got all first place votes. The teen bikini went to Juliana Maldonado Garcia. The novice bikini went to Kaylee Vorva competing in her very first show and she beat out 23 competitors. And we talked to Kaylee after the show as well and uh, Kaylee lost about, 
I think 60 pounds for this contest. So she was getting overweight, got into the fitness lifestyle, and she is hooked now. So she did really, really well. So congratulations to her. And the men's physique masters over 40. That went to Richard Alexander, who's been cleaning up the last few shows. He's doing really well in all the categories. Masters, not, uh, not only masters, but uh, men's physique, um, classic physique, and bodybuilding. So Richard's got a really good physique. Always comes in good condition. And I think he's getting ready for the All South in a couple weeks. The novice men's physique went to Francisco Perez, who beat out 11 competitors. And then in the classic physique, the master's classic physique, again, went to Richard Alexander. Then going into the open categories, the figure open, Jessica, Jessica Rodriguez with an excellent physique. I've seen Jessica win quite a few uh, shows, overall wins, over the last two years. She's doing really well. She's got some great symmetry, great structure. So she wins class A. Charisse Bernard, who won the novice, she wins class B. And Chelsea Cannon wins class C. But the overall, uh, by unanimous decision, was Jessica Rodriguez, who looked fantastic. And she is going to take the rest of the year off and, and compete again next year. And uh, she should do really well on the national level because she's got the shape. All right, moving into the Classic Physique Open. Jeffrey Bellman was the winner in Class A. Jason Sauls was the winner in Class B. And then Richard Alexander comes back again and wins the Class uh, C in the Open of Classic Physique with seven competitors. And then in the overall, Richard Alexander wins the overall. So that's three first place votes so far for Richard. In the Men's Physique Open, Class A went to Zach Binch, who won by one point over Richard Ontiveros. And then Class B went to Kyle Clark. And Class C went to Raheem Ward, who at 21 years old was only competing in his second show. He was, this was his first overall win. And he got all first place votes from the judges, and then he win the overall. So. Raheem Ward, very tall competitor. He looked like he was about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and uh, he's, he's going to continue on. He's going to do really well, I'm sure. He's got, he's got the look. In the Bikini Open, Class A went to Kaylee Vorva, who was their novice winner. She beat out 12 competitors in that class. Samantha Resmondo also beat out 12 competitors to win Class B, and Megan Sutton was a winner in Class C. And then in the Bikini Open overall, Kaylee Vorva wins again, so she wins the overall in both the novice and the Open in her very first contest. So what a night for her. And then finally they finished with the Bodybuilding Open. It was great to see them finish with the Bodybuilding instead of having it earlier. The Lightweight class went to Jeffrey Bellman who won his class in the uh, Classic Physique. Middleweight again went to Richard Alexander for his, first, his fourth first place trophy of the night. John Lorenzo wins the, the Light Heavyweight class. And the Heavyweight class wins, goes to our Novice winner Miguel Sanchez Nieto, who beat out eight competitors to win the heavyweight, and then Miguel Sanchez Nieto wins the overall. So he did really, really well. He's been training a long time, and I think he's just started working with uh, Milton Martinez, so now he's going to be doing more shows in the U.S., so congratulations to him. All right, let's move on to the big Diana Cadu Classic. Always a big show every year, and they held it out in Miami on October 22nd. They had a huge contest, a lot of competitors. So let's go over the results real quick. The Masters Bodybuilding in the over 50, Terry Marshall was the winner. Ruben Marquez was the winner in the over 40. And Luis Nuzagamo was the winner in the over 35. And I don't think they had an overall Masters Men's Bodybuilding. So those were the winners in each class. The Team Bodybuilding went to Jonathan Gramling. Uh, the Novice Bodybuilding Lightweight went to Alexis Pedroza. And the heavyweight went to Emmanuel Rodriguez. And I don't think they had an overall there either. In the men's open bodybuilding, a lot of competitors. So it was really, really competitive in bodybuilding uh, for this show. Alexis Pedraza was the winner in the lightweight. The middleweight went to Jorge Gatorno. Uh, Omar Garcia was the winner in the light heavyweight. He beat out 10 competitors in that division, in that class. Jamil Encarnacion, who just won a show a couple weeks ago. Uh, he wins the heavyweight class, and he beat out eight competitors in that division. And then the super heavyweights went to the veteran competitor, James Bivens. But the overall went to Omar Garcia, a veteran competitor in the South Florida area. Omar is always winning first place out there, so congratulations to him. This was a really big show. They had a women's bodybuilding category, only one competitor, Ingrid Valentin. And they had a lot of competitors in women's physique, and the women's physique masters over 40, Maya Cauley was the winner, 
And then Ivy Ryan, excellent physique on Ivy. I've seen her compete before. She wins the over 35. Then going into the women's physique open, class A again goes to Ivy Ryan, who beat out seven competitors, so they had a good turnout for women's physique. Class B and women's physique open went to Christine Jackson. Then Ivy Ryan was the overall winner in the women's open, or the women's physique open, I should say. All right, then moving on to the classic physique and the master's classic physique, the over 40 went to Keith Holmes. And the over 30 went to Arturo Mendez, one of the best competitors out in the South Florida area. Arturo's got a great physique, does really well always in bodybuilding and uh, classic physique. Looks like he's making the switch now over to classic physique for good. And Arturo beats out seven competitors to win the over 30 uh, classic physique division in the Masters. And then the classic physique open, Rooney Exantis wins class B. Rooney's got an awesome physique. I seen him compete at the Europa last year and I was raving about his physique on this show. Ivan Gill was the winner in Class B, and Ivan always does well in the South Florida area. Ivan beat out 10 competitors, and that was a really tough class. Emmanuel Rodriguez, who was a novice bodybuilding winner, he was in second place. And Sergey Pelkin, who usually does really well in Classic Physique, only took fourth place. So that goes to show you how deep the level of competition was. And then Arturo Mendez wins Class C, beating out nine competitors, and Luis Nuzagamo was in second place and Luis was the winner in the uh, Masters Men's Bodybuilding over 35. But he overall goes to Rooney Exantis with his freaky physique. This guy's got a super tiny waist and is shredded. Just a, a fat free physique. So he's very very gifted for this category and hopefully he'll do well at the national level. I hope to see him at the nationals. And then in the figure Masters over 60 went to Carolyn Brent. Over 50 went to Caroline Fleischer. The over 40 went to Danielle Rose. And the over 30 went to Petula Rosas, who beat out 11 competitors. In the figure novice, Catherine Savine was the winner over eight competitors. All right, and then in the figure open, Class A went to Petula Rosas. She beat out seven competitors to win Class A. Anna Melissa Groenveld, another competitor I've seen compete before. She's really, she does really well. She wins Class B. Danielle Rose wins Class C. And Celine D. Bernardis wins Class D. And the overall figure open goes to Petula Rosas. Then in the men's physique, the over 50, Luis Ruiz wins the over 50. Over 40 goes to Frank Guzman. And the over 30 went to Patrick William. The teen men's physique goes to Luca Sposito. And the men's physique novice goes to Orincro Akpobarar. If I'm saying that right. Uh, it's sort of a difficult name to pronounce, but he beat out 19 competitors to win the Men's Physique Novice, so congratulations to him. Then the Men's Physique Open, a lot of competitors in that division. Class A went to Raul, Raul Moreno, who beat out 9 competitors. Class B went to Jesus Burgos, who beat out 18 competitors, one of the biggest classes of the night. And Orinco Acapobar beats out 14 competitors to win Class C. But the overall goes to Jesus Burgos, who wins the overall men's physique. So a lot of competitors in men's physique. Congratulations to Jesus. Then moving into the bikini, uh, the bikini masters over 50 goes to Gina Comisiong. The over 40 goes to Jacqueline Darby, who beats out 11 competitors. And the over 30 went to Nina Wetzel, who beats out 18 competitors. Huge class. The teen bikini goes to Kristen Gomez. And then the Bikini Novice, a lot of competitors in this division as well. Catherine Braithwaite wins Class A. She beats out 18 competitors. Ariel Butenhaze, she wins Class B over seven competitors. And Laura Mass wins Class C. And then finally, the Bikini Open finished up the MPC portion. Class A went to Catherine Braithwaite again. She beats out 12 competitors to win Class A. Lindsey Brown wins Class B over 17 competitors. Nisli Yuguela wins Class C with over nine competitors, and Nicole Hermanson wins Class D over 10 competitors, and Nicole Hermanson was the overall winner in the Bikini Open. So congratulations to all those competitors. They also had a couple pro divisions at the Diana Cadu Classic. The pro classic physique went to the veteran competitor, Darren Charles, who's gotta be competing in his probably 15 shows this year at least. Even after the Olympia, he's still going. So Darum takes first place. The excellent young competitor, Terrence Ruffin, who I think is only about 22 years old, 
Terrence takes second place. And this division was notable for the uh, debut of Chris Bumstead, who I believe is from Canada, and he just got his pro card at the North America. Chris has got an awesome physique. Very tall, very small waist, great V-shape, real good leg development. So it'll be interesting to see how he places uh, in the next coming year in classic physique division because I think he's got the epitome of the classic physique. In the men's physique pro division, Antoine Williams was the winner over 16 competitors. In the bikini pro, Camille Pariat was the winner. She looked fantastic. And Marcia Gonclaves was in second place. So congratulations to Marcia. She's having a fantastic year in her first year as a pro. There was 10 competitors in the pro bikini. And then finally in the figure, L'Oreal Martineau was the winner in the pro figure with an unbelievable 19 competitors in the pro figure. So that was huge. So congratulations to all those competitors. A really outstanding show. All right, so that is it for all the results from uh, last weekend from the Ocala Cup and the Diana Cadu Classic. I want to thank uh, Mike Sansevero for getting us the pictures for the Diana Cadu Classic and Maria Blondo for getting me the results and Amy DiGiovine for uh, giving me the results of the Ocala Cup. Thank you to all you guys. All right, everyone, thank you for joining us for another edition of the Florida Physique Report. And we will be at his show this weekend to cover it for Florida Physique next week. So I'll have all the pictures and interviews up next week. Thanks again for watching the Florida Physique Report, everybody. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.